In this video, we are going to take an exclusive look at the build progress of hull number two of the Extreme Passage Maker 78. If you are interested in the extremely capable genre of long range explorer yachts that are just as comfortable cruising the Northwest Passage as they are cruising the shallow waters of the Bahamas, then I am sure that you are going to love this exceptional explorer yacht. So join me as we take a deep dive into this impressive vessel. Project Vanguard is the second long range explorer yacht in a series of builds to a 78 foot design by Art Nautica. Built to UK MCA category zero unrestricted standard, she is capable of safe long range operation worldwide under most sea and weather conditions. The long-time seafaring and incredibly experienced owner of Vanguard is working with Naval Yachts, a highly skilled family-owned boat building business based in Antalya, Turkey. Naval Yachts launched hole number one called Mobius of the Extreme Passage Maker range in February 2021. The design for the XPM 78 was created by the talented naval architect Dennis Harjima of Art Nautica Yacht Design. Vanguard is built to commercial standards, including full redundancy of mission critical systems. Once launched, she will have a length overall of 22.4 meters with a beam of 5.13 meters and a draft of just 1.3 meters. When cruising between 8.5 to 9 knots, Vanguard will have a range of over 7,000 nautical miles and with a range as impressive as this, it is easy to see why this model is called the Extreme Passage Maker. Later on in the video, I will share with you some of the incredible features of this Explorer yacht, including information about her engines and self-writing ability. But first, join me as we take a walk around Vanguard. The hull and superstructure are made of aluminium, with the hull being fitted with five watertight bulkheads. Anyone who has spent any time at sea will tell you just how critical a safety feature having five watertight bulkheads is. The hull above the waterline will consist of six millimeter and 10 millimeter thick aluminum plates. Below the waterline, the thickness of the hull increases to between 12 to 15 millimeters. There will also be a 25 millimeter aluminum keel bar running from the vessel's bow to her transom. Vanguard also has a double skin hull below the waterline for three central watertight compartments. She will also be fitted with three substantial grounding plates to each shaft skeg. This Explorer Yachts will have two exterior Beaufort watertight aluminium doors and will have 10 aluminium deck hatches each fitted with 16 mm thick laminated glass. The wave piercing bow has been designed to take on big seas. Of course, if it has too much buoyancy in the bow, then a boat will slam. But with too much buoyancy in the stern, a boat will likely broach in steep following seas. The sharp bow also means that this Explorer yacht can achieve a speed of 10 knots with just 120 horsepower. On the bow's port side, we see Vanguard's unique anchor arrangement and the bespoke deck fittings. The primary anchor will be an oversized Rockner anchor, whilst her secondary system will comprise a fortress kedge, drogue and para sea anchor. She will be fitted with a Maxwell windlass that can be controlled from both the foredeck and the helm station. The swim platform allows for increased hull length to aid fuel efficiency without adding buoyancy. If you have too much buoyancy on the stern of a vessel, then there would be issues if a stern sea takes over and the water level rises at the stern. It's a trick from Steve Dashu and FPB Designs. 
and limits bow steering and broaching tendency by not forcing the bow down as the stern lifts. Hold 2 of the XPM78 also benefits from cambered decks at the owner's request. Cambered decks are structurally stronger based on the same engineering principles as an arched bridge. The camber decks also mean that water clears off the deck quicker and across a 16 foot beam you gain 2 inches in the centre. As you can see, the large windows fitted in the saloon will ensure the owners and their guests feel connected to their surroundings. The 26mm tempered glass means that should a rogue wave hit the vessel, then she will be able to withstand the force of an angry sea. And what about her speed? Well, Vanguard will have a top speed of around 16 knots with a cruising speed of approximately 10.5 to 11 knots. Thanks to her self-pitching props made by Brunton's in the UK, if you decide to run just one engine, then you don't have to worry about the windmilling of the second prop whilst underway. The large reinforced forward raking windows on the pilot's house with their narrow stanchions will ensure that the owner-operator of Vanguard will have excellent views when manoeuvring in tight spaces. I love the overhang from the flybridge. Her lines really give her the sense and feel of a vessel that is destined to spend all seasons at sea and not just the calm ones. Now join me as we head up towards Vanguard's flybridge. Although we will talk about this vessel's propulsion in a minute, it is probably worth mentioning at this point that Vanguard will be fitted with a vast array of solar panels. In fact, she will have an 8 kilowatt conformable panel PV arrays that will feed her extensive battery bank. She will be fitted with a Praxis 120 kilowatt hour LiPo power bank and a Firefly 2 kilowatt hour engine starter bank. As I walked around Vanguard and witnessed firsthand the level of engineering that has gone into her build, I got a sense of just how well she will perform when she's thousands of nautical miles away from anything that resembles civilization. Her sturdy build and numerous levels of redundancy mean that she can operate without shoreside support for months at a time, whether that be in the high latitudes or meandering through the Caribbean. As we enter the large saloon of Vanguard, we get a sense of her space and overall volume. Those reinforced glass windows will give breathtaking views of her surroundings without compromising the vessel's structural integrity. The main saloon will be located immediately aft of the helm position, with the galley located aft of the saloon. Vanguard's eight-person tender will be 5.5 metres in length and will be powered by a Yanmar 75kW Tier 3 inboard engine.
In terms of accommodation, Vanguard will have a double cabin forward with ensuite. The owners will benefit from a full beam master cabin that is located midships. And there will be another guest cabin located aft of the master cabin. It really is an honour to be able to visit and explore a yacht like the Extreme Passage Maker during her build, especially as this will be hole number two. To be able to see a vessel like this being put together is like watching a masterpiece of naval engineering and naval architecture being born. One can only imagine the places Vanguard is going to visit and the conditions she will come up against. Which brings me on to her propulsion system. Join me now as we take a look inside the XPM's engine room. Vanguard will be powered by twin 4045 AFM85 John Deere engines. They are rated at 120 kilowatts at 2300 RPM. Her hybrid drive consists of two 30 kilowatts at 100 RPM Praxis high voltage DC propulsion motors, generating 96 kilowatts at 2300 RPM. The state of the art system installed in Vanguard means that her owners can charge her batteries at just 90 kWh. This leads to future proofing as battery technology improves and her owner can charge two times the capacity and still remain within an acceptable charge time. Vanguard will be able to cover around 100 nautical miles using electric only propulsion. Another incredibly impressive thing about the XPM 78 is her stability. Her angle of vanishing stability is an incredible 180 degrees. An angle of vanishing stability is the angle from the vertical at which a boat will no longer stay upright but will capsize, becoming inverted. And considering the XPM 78 angle of vanishing stability with a load of 45 tonnes is 180 degrees, tells you quite a bit about this Explorer yacht's rough weather capabilities. But why aluminium? Well, not only is aluminium lightweight, but it is also free from corrosion. After all, who wants to worry about ship's husbandry when you could be spending time with family and friends instead? An aluminium vessel behaves well in heavy seas, but it also lends itself to better performance, low maintenance, less vibration and overall strength. I cannot wait to keep you updated as to the progress and launch of this incredible vessel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. If you'd like to find out more about Vanguard, then I'll leave a link to their website in the video description. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm filming and where I'm traveling to next, then please consider becoming a member of my channel. Think of YouTube's channel membership as their version of Patreon. You'll find the join button underneath this video. And I'll also leave a link in the video description. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos. The video recommendation in the top left hand corner is one of my videos that YouTube thinks you'll love. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.